Today I do want to show you guys how to make a Twitch overlay. I made this pretty cool Twitch overlay that I'm working on for a client of mine. I, I want to get into a, a, a cam overlay specifically today. So towards the end of today's video, that's where, what's, what's going to be in this video. You ready? You getting it? <laughs> Let's roll. Why don't you let everybody know what we're up to this morning? A hike? Well, no, not a hike. A walk? Sorry, something was in my eye. Something was in your eye? Probably your finger. It is now. So I feel like today is going to be a really gloomy day. Gloomy or good? Gloomy. Typical Ohio weather right now this time of the year. It's very gloomy. Very, very gloomy. All right, I guess we're gonna put this bad boy to the test. I'm just gonna put it on my face and see what happens. What are you testing? Seeing if it does focus. Oh my God. Oh. Oh potholes. This vehicle and potholes makes me extremely nervous. So new camera today, guys, starting off fr uh, from today now on, I, I doubt this is something that like I would return uh, unless there's seriously like some features that I just don't like, but I, I'm pretty used to the Sony series and this is the Sony A7R Mark III, the, the third edition of the Sony A7R lineup. Their duck races are today. Duck races are today. That's awesome. You know you live in a really cool town when like duck races are going on. That's so but neat. theirs isn't real ducks. There's are rubber ducks that they throw into the creek. Oh, but and whoever's... E &R's, yeah, and whoever floats down to the other end, e &R's actually has real ducks. Okay. But yeah, anyways, new camera. So if any of the, um, the stuff looks like shit, my apologies. I'm still learning some of the new features that it has. Today, I do want to show you guys how to make a Twitch overlay. I made this pretty cool Twitch overlay that I'm working on for a client of mine. And with this, I will do a full like Twitch layout design too. Like I'll show you guys how I designed the whole package to match, but I, I want to get into a, a, a cam overlay specifically today. So towards the end of today's video, that's where, what's, what's going to be in this video is a little bit of a cam overlay. But but then, and with that too, I wanted to go ahead and talk about today, you know, with me making an upgrade like this, like when's it the right time to to make like an investment? You know what I mean? That's like one of the scariest things when you're coming up as a creative, you know, whether you're a designer and you need a, a tablet, you know, tablets are $500. If you need a new PC, PCs are like a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars whatever. Uh, if you're a photographer, cameras are like, you know, a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand, three thousand, you know, dollars. Whatever you do with all this shit, like when's it the right time to like kind of uh, invest into yourself. How long were you doing photography till you got that camera that I like talked you into getting? I had my D7000 for like five years. Really? So it's would you say, there. and then how long were you doing photography till you made your website? Well, I've been doing it since high school and that's been almost 10 years. So you, so you waited a little while till you really like invested into your, like, you know to what a, I mean? To a website, yeah, cause it's just like, I was new starting out and no, not a lot of people want someone fresh out of high school. Personally, me, uh, well, back in the day when I was first starting the designs, when I knew I wanted to start making money, I spent money. It's, it, and everybody's different. And it's not necessarily, you know, that Megan, uh, not doing that was like wrong or anything by any means. It's just some people are different. I looked at it as like, well, in order for me to get myself out there, I got to spend a little money up front. I, I actually did that twice uh, way back in the day when I was like starting to make money for the first time as a graphic designer. Then I got my full time job uh, or, or the raise where I was focus on that. And then when I decided I didn't want to work for a factory anymore, uh, when I went to like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go freelance someday, like full-time freelance, living on my own. When I decided that, I dropped like hundreds of dollars on a website right away. Uh, my friend Nick, actually, who now owns Emberwebs, I hired him for full website design. And while I had the website, I actually like, paid somebody else again to upgrade it a year later to for new branding just making branding changes and stuff to make my stuff make myself look a little bit more flashy and, and traffic went up but some people like you know Megan for example after a period of time they find that it's worth investing some people like myself uh, it's it's like invest right away and it's not that any any way is like wrong we thought 
the same. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I about freaked the fuck out. Look at it. Fly away. Buzzards are so ugly, dude. Oh my god. What's the, like the death dude? What's his name? Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper. That's like the Grim Reaper's like pet. So it's like, you see that, like, where's he at? For the longest time, I've been hoping to shoot a bald eagle around here because they finally like, started, like, populating themselves back in the area. It's probably been about, what, a couple of years now that they, a few years now that they've been, like, yeah, resurfacing yeah. around. They were they were on the boat, and, and Dad was paddleboarding, and he said he saw it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if you guys have ever seen a bald eagle. Google them. They're insanely massive. And just like a very majestic bird, I would be, I'd be kind of pissed if that was like really a bald eagle right there, because I don't have like a, a lens yeah. to shoot a picture of them. But it's still one of those things. Like I've always wanted to see one in person, and I've never seen one in person. Even when we go like on these hiking trails that have like all these animals and shit in cages, it's like for some reason that day the bald eagle is out getting like their feathers taken care of or some shit. So, in your humble opinion, when's the best time to invest into yourself? Is there a best time to invest in yourself? And to your, like if you want to kind of do a side business or if maybe you lose your job. Because that's some situations we don't put in scenario. We always kind of put it as like, oh, you work hard at your job and then finally can leave. Like, what if you lost your job tomorrow? You know, of course you'd put your application in places. So, you know, obviously your business would be the first thing like, okay, well I can I can generate revenue some way with this. When is it okay to invest into yourself? I don't think there's a specific time. I think it's just, some people invest early to try to get a head start in the game. Some people, you know, don't necessarily. And once they start getting business then they whatever it just depends on the person i think it's crazy how time frames like don't add up some people you know even sometimes myself i think you know getting this camera it was a situation where it was like yes it's a need but are there other options yes but the the reality is it is like these I, I i'm already at the point where all the gear that i've gotten has paid for itself it's tough to judge situations like when's the right time there's a different time frame for everybody with a lot of this stuff when something will will pay off or will some when something will be rewardable so don't ever listen to somebody like oh if you're doing something for x amount of time then you buy into it then you you pay but anything before that that's a, that's a big gamble that's a big risk fun fact for anybody that didn't <laughs> know why don't you tell them i was born in the bathroom at that house right there <laughs> that's, that's right there is where I'm megan was born in the bathroom with just my mom and dad there wasn't like a paramedic there mom was getting ready to go to the hospital and i just decided to come then so dad had to deliver me in that bathroom in the house right there right across there. the street all right everybody so i wanted to dive into the final portion of this video and instead of doing a step-by-step -step tutorial like hey this is how i'm making this particular overlay i figured i would explain some basics to things because at the end of the day Graphic design, uh, design, you know, photography, creative abilities are, are down to you as a person. You don't want to just completely replicate a tutorial. You want to be able to just kind of have the basics and understanding and uh, just figure out yourself. And I, I want to make this video also to cater to people that maybe just don't have a budget right now to, to hire a designer or to pay for some designs and so they need to do something like this themselves because it's completely understandable like it, it happens all the time everybody's got to start somewhere so i just want to give like the basic ability for you guys to have an understanding to creating a webcam overlay for you know whether it be twitch or youtube whether it's live streams or you just want to spice up your video overlays you know you're you have a cam for your videos maybe you review stuff you just want to have a cool little webcam box for that i just wanted to share the basics so that way you guys when you make this yourself you can just build it from the ground up so how i typically like to start off with overlays and, and twitch webcam overlays is i like to make a 1920 by 1080 at 16 bit document and then i like to start off with a outline box and this outline box is 1280 by 720 and i you make it to the thickness of how your design's gonna be. With me having this be a kind of like a sharp, edgy type of design, 
Um, I, I just start off with a kind of standard box size and just build around it. Now, obviously, when you go to use the webcam, when you actually go to use the cam overlay in uh, you know your stream setup or whatnot, it's not gonna be 1280 by 720, you're gonna shrink it down. So one of the biggest tips I always like to give in working with this stuff is don't make your webcam extremely small like how it's going to be and design from that because you kind of lose quality if you if you start off big and then shrink it down you're going to have kind of a higher quality that's why i suggest making at 1280 by 720 and then shrinking it down but with that you also want to make sure during the process of you designing that webcam overlay or any video overlay that you are also kind of every now and then looking at it in, in a small concept like shrinking it down you'll see me do that throughout the duration of me making this overlay i shrink it down every now and then so that way i can actually see like hey is this gonna actually show up? What does this detail look like when it's gonna be in kind of a, a real situation, when it's just gonna be in the corner of somebody's screen? Another thing that I highly suggest when creating overlays is don't just have just a, a solid black background when creating an overlay and don't have something with, with a lot of color in the background when you're creating an overlay. You wanna have like kind of a, a situation set up to where during the process of you creating the overlay, you can look at what the overlay would be like in a dark situation, you can see what it would look like in a bright situation. I've seen this mistake many times throughout the years where somebody will design like a, a webcam overlay or a video overlay on like a dark background and it looks great on a dark background the colors really pop it's it's really sharp but the second they put it on an actual overlay and next thing you know the person's playing a very bright vibrant game like Fortnite for example the overlay is just way too dark it's because it, it's not contrasting well with all those bright colors everybody's focus is on the bright colors not on the dark overlay in itself so that's something I always suggest when you're going to create create an overlay, kind of have a, a situation where you can change the background up as you're working on it. You know, you can make it brighter, you can make it darker. One of the things I like to do sometimes when creating overlays is just have like a game overlay blurred in the background and then just have a layer over it to where it's, it's dark while I'm making it so I can focus on the actual overlay and then every now and then take a peek at what it would look like in an actual in-game situation. The biggest thing to creating overlays though, it comes down to just having fun. And that's why I don't want to do a step-by-step -step tutorial. I just want to show you guys how I start them, how I, like things that I follow when making overlays and, and just let you do it, let you create because over a period of time, you're going to just develop ways that you create certain things in your own unique way, just ways that you like doing it and it will make it that much better. Even if you're somebody that's just designing to design for yourselves, so you're not like wanting to be a designer, you're going to figure out ways to do this to where it, it's faster and maybe you can save a little bit more money in the future on things that you can just handle yourself. But ultimately the design is going to come down to you having fun, you being creative. There's going to be a couple of times where you're not going to be happy with it and then you can just kind of like take away some layers and kind of start over again it's it's okay to to understand that every now and then you're not going to create something that you like and it's okay to backtrack and the final thing that i want to say with creating overlays is don't over complicate things you don't have to have a whole bunch of crazy layers and effects going on like you know for example what you see in mine today there's a lot going on i put a lot of detail into it it was just something that i i had the thought in my head but i don't typically always put this much detail in a webcam overlay. I do enough to where it can really emphasize the branding and just make an impact to the overall quality of the creator in itself. And with doing that, you don't need crazy shit. I think a lot of times designers or really focused on like, oh, I have to spend hours on this and doing a lot of crazy stuff instead of just like getting it done and, and actually creating something that is just creative and overall looks well. So overall, everybody, I suggest you guys again to start off in a kind of like high resolution, design something that's gonna be a little bit bigger so that way when you do shrink it down, it does look better. But remember, you know, as you're working on that to kind of take a look every now and then, you know, shrink it down to size and see what it'll look like. Make sure those details and the text is actually coming out. Make sure as you're designing it, you're seeing what it would look like in different situations. So that way, you know when they use it, it's going to look good in whatever background they have. And finally, again, just have some fun, guys. This is art, this is creativity. There's really no rules to it. Just enjoy it and see what comes of it. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on those notifications for future uploads. If you guys have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see in the future, link them down in the comments below. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm out. Peace.
channel with Smith on my shit The pursuit of happiness and pop my bubble I'm in trouble and it turns out life's a bitch All I want in my fighting for All I why do I fall apart when you disappear And all I where am I going from here Cause I've been moving Skipping class, bummy ass, everybody's dressed the same But that's cool, cause I'm just chill with wearing plaid And to be honest, missing graduation wasn't bad But no